I welcome you to this online service. Although we are not able to be together in person, we remain part of God's community. We are the body of Christ. His Spirit is with us. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Our sentence for today. By the grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. Let us join together in the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength Jesus said, this is the great and first commandment, and a second is like it, you shall love your neighbour as yourself. God is steadfast in love and infinite in mercy, welcoming sinners and inviting them to the Lord's table. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith with a sincere and a true heart. Merciful God, our Maker and our Judge, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us. Strengthen us to love and obey you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to him in faith, pardon you and set you free from all your sins, strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now let us offer this broken world to our loving God.
the collect for the 16th Sunday after Pentecost. Loving and righteous God, your boundless generosity exceeds all that we can desire or deserve. And you give to the last worker all you promised to the first. Liberate us from all jealousy and greed, that we may be free to love and serve others, and in your service may find our true reward through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our psalm today is parts of Psalm 105. Oh, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Tell among the peoples what things he has done. Sing to him, O oh, sing praises, and be telling of all his marvellous works. Exalt in his holy name, and let those that seek the Lord be joyful in heart. Seek the Lord and his strength, or seek his face continually. Call to mind what wonders he has done, his marvellous acts, and the judgments of his mouth. O seed of Abraham, his servant, O children of Jacob, his chosen one. He brought Israel out with silver and with gold. And not one among their tribes was seen to stumble. Egypt was glad at their going, for, the, for dread of Israel had fallen upon them. He spread out a cloud for, for a covering and a fire to lighten the, the night. The people asked, and he brought them quails, and satisfied them with the bread from heaven. He opened a rock so that the waters gushed, and ran into the parched land like a river, for he had remembered his holy word that he gave to Abraham his servant. So he led out his people with rejoicing, his chosen ones with shouts of joy. He gave them the land of the nations, and they took possession of the fruit for which other peoples had toiled, so that they might keep his statutes and faithfully obey his Lord. O oh, praise the Lord. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. Our reading today is from Philippians chapter 1. For to me, Living is Christ, and dying is gain. If I am to live in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me, and I do not know which I prefer. I am hard-pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and be with Christ, for that is far better but to remain in the flesh is more necessary for you. Since I am convinced of this, I know that I will remain and continue with all of you for your progress and joy in faith, so that I may share abundantly in your boasting in Christ Jesus when I come to you again. Only. Live your life in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that, whether I come and see you, or am absent and hear about you, I will know that you are standing firm in one spirit, 
striving side by side with one mind for the faith of the gospel. And I am no way intimidated by your opponents. For them, this is evidence of their destruction, but of your salvation. And this is God's doing. For he has graciously granted you the privilege not only of believing in Christ, but of suffering for him as well, since you are having the same struggle that you saw I had and now hear that I still have. For the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.